Explanation number two is adopted by physicists, I think, Steven Weinberg, who was quoted earlier in this conference. Uh, Steven Weinberg, <coughs> Nobel Prize winning physicist from Texas, um, I think his view is that we don't yet understand enough physics, and when we do, when we have the longed for theory of everything, the TOE, we will then realize that these knobs are not for tuning. There is no freedom, there are no degrees of freedom. Uh, there's only one way for a universe to be. Um, having accepted the, the word of physicists that there is a, an element of fine-tuning, and I've tried to lay out three possible explanations. One, one would be God, which, as I've said, isn't an explanation at all. One would be um, the um, multiverse, and then anthropically with hindsight saying we have to be sitting in one of the universes right. that could give us. But the third one, which I've attributed to you, oh, no. possibly wrongly, oh, no. uh, would be um, I, what I call the macho physicists, who say, well, uh, it's just that we don't understand um, uh, why these things that are the other way they are. One day we will, uh, it, when, when we have a theory of everything, it, it will be understood. But it sounds from our conversation as though that I, I misrepresented you there. I don't think one should underestimate uh, the fix we're in that in the end we will not be able to explain uh, the world, that uh, we will have some laws of, some set of laws of nature, we will not be able to derive them on the ground simply of mathematical consistency because we can already think of mathematically consistent laws that don't describe the world as we know it and we will always be left with a um, question why are the laws of nature what they are rather than some other laws and uh, I, I don't see any way out of that. The fact that the constants of nature are suitable for life, which is clearly true, we observe, um, the final idea, which I think probably most physicists um, at least have some time for, is the multiverse theory. No one has constructed a theory in which that's true. I mean, it's not only a speculation. The theory would be speculative, but we don't have a theory in which that speculation is mathematically realized. Right. Yeah. So it, but it's a possibility. And the fact that the cancellation is so precise means that the number of universes in the multiverse you need to postulate in order to anthropically mm -hmm. be comfortable with it is very, very large. And it must be at least 10 to the 56, or, yes, or in fact, exactly. uh, yeah. if you think you have some idea about fluctuations at even shorter distances, I think you would say at least 10 to the 120. Uh, in fact, that, that's a little disturbing.